Morning, everyone. Top of the morning to you. Getting my coffee in. Ooh, yeah. So happy holidays. Hope everyone had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Hope everyone had a great time hunting the rut. I'm still after it. I'm still after it. I had a 150 inch plus 11 point at 55 yards about a month ago. And uh, he's been ducking and dodging me all season in Ohio. But in PA, I just haven't had a chance to really hunt PA at all. I've been, I was out twice early season, but with the babies here and everything, it's just been on been a little hectic so starting to kind of strategize for next year taking a lot of time out to hunt the rut pa ohio and i might just focus on those two states next year but anyway um let's let's get into this video because this is important unfortunately i have to make this video um i didn't want to make it but i think it's important to get this information out to you guys out there especially because it involves safe safety i had an equipment failure and um, if any of you have watched any of my early videos um, a few months ago, you would see that I just got into the saddle hunting this year. I've um, never used a saddle before. I uh, purchased a Cruiser Archon saddle. I got one of their their packages that come with the, the platform, the ropes, everything you need to get started. And if you watch my first video on, on saddle hunting, you would see that I'm all about safety. And I've always been that way because I've been, you know, I've been using tree stands for over 20 years. I've only had two instances where equipment failed. One just happened here a few weeks ago that I'm going to talk about today. The other time was a, an Ameristep uh, climber stand that, that failed. Luckily I was fine because I had my harness. I was using uh, a lineman's rope attached to my harness as a tether as I climbed. So as I climbed up, the tree with the climber, I would just slide the rope right up. It was real easy, quick. And that top part of the the climber failed. It actually, one of the arms broke. I fell, the rope saved me. I was fine, didn't get injured at all. Um, but a real dicey situation, right? So it happens, equipment fails, right? It's Murphy's Law. And um, when you're dealing with uh, mechanical equipment of any type, whether it's tree stands, um, saddle hunting equipment, whatever, any sort of ascending or descending up the tree, um, there are going to be accidents, there are going to be failures. And so I like to have safety redundancies in place. And so if you saw my first video, when I was first trying out my saddle, you see I doubled up on tethers, bridges, things like that, right? Just um, really trying to stay as safe as possible. Um, so one of the What's, what's really ironic about what happened to me, so let me explain what happened. Um, I was using my saddle. I went out. This was just a few weeks ago this happened. And um, I got up to the top where I, where I wanted to set my platform. I was about 18 feet up. I got the platform on, seated, nice and tight. Everything looked good. I stepped on the platform with my left foot, put my weight on it. And then just as I stepped on with my right foot, put all my weight on it with both feet, it immediately collapsed. The platform collapsed and fell in a in in a blink of an eye. I was I fell. Now luckily I had my my lineman's rope on and that saved me. It was a little loose, so I fell, you know, I fell probably, I don't know, four feet, three, four feet, something like that. It happened so fast, there was like no time to react. Now my arm came down on on the top of the my my climbing stick okay and slammed into that so i did suffer some injury and it it hurt pretty bad when it happened i thought i tore my pectoral muscle or my bicep when it happened uh, when i was hanging there i just felt instant pain what had happened was um i had massive bruising on the inside of my my bicep that went up into right where it connected to kind of my shoulder girdle here with the the pectoral and because of that shock there, it also affected the rear part of my shoulder, the terrace major and minor. So I strained a lot of stuff in this region and had massive bruising here. Um, it's actually healed up really good. I've been working out and stuff. It's been, it's been fine, but there is a little bit of pain. I could feel some of the strain kind of from the bicep into the chest and a little bit back here in the terrace major and minor, but I'm, I'm sure it's healing up. Uh, well, so nothing, nothing major, no major inju injuries other than some massive bruising there. And so um, I climbed down, I got, got myself situated, got back, climbed down, um, 
got on the ground, was safe and sound, was checking myself, making sure nothing else was broke or strained or sprained. And then I looked at that platform and I started investigating what the hell happened. So what had happened was the uh, that quick release locking cam buckle with that, that strap where you can quickly tighten it up that comes with the platform, that failed. So I have it right here. Now let me show it to you. So this is the platform that I'm using. I think they call it the, the Seeker platform by Cruiser. I mean, it's a great platform. It's comfortable, um, works well. But anyway, this is what fell, right? So the failure was actually in the strap that came with it. So this is the strap that comes with it, right? It goes right around, it's on the platform. You throw it around tree, boom, tighten it up. It's real quick and easy. So these, these quick release buckles that have kind of this locking cam design here. So usually this is over here and you just push that, you can tighten it up real easy. I've been using these for years. I've been using these with different climbing sticks. I have um, some different stands that utilize these type of straps. I've, I've used them a lot and I've never had a failure like this. And this is a pretty heavy duty one, but what had happened was when I looked at it, there's this pin, okay, right here. This pin had kind of slid out a bit. It wasn't all the way out, but it slid out a bit just like that. And this had rolled over and it just released. So this pin isn't really held in there by anything substantial. Like it has the potential to just kind of pop out. Um, and that's, I'm guessing what had happened. So this is just kind of, this doesn't work anymore. This is completely destroyed, um, right? So the funny thing, well, it's not funny. The very ironic thing about this was I posted a, a video. It was an, another saddle hunting video that I had posted. And a gentleman had left a comment on that video. He was a veteran saddle hunter. has been saddle hunting for over 15 years. And the one comment he made on my video was that he was a little leery of these type of um, buckles, these, these locking cams, quick release buckles because he was afraid of this happening. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? So he had left that comment on my page. And then within a couple weeks, it might have been two or three weeks, I had that exact failure happen. Um, so that it, it was, you know, what's the chances? But with mechanical stuff like this, stuff can happen. So um, I had only used it maybe six or seven times. Not that much at all. This is brand new equipment, right? It shouldn't have failed. Now, I have reached out to Cruiser. Um, I haven't heard back from them yet. Um, they had a note on their website that they're swamped with the, the holidays and everything. So I'm going to give them a little bit of time. But I need them to respond to me because I want to send this, this buckle back. I want them to investigate this. I want them to look at this, investigate this. They need to find out if this is defective equipment. Have they had any other situations like this? Any other customers reach out that they're aware of or the vendor that provides these to them, right? They need to acknowledge it and investigate it. And so I want to get this back to them. I sent them a very detailed email with pictures of this, with pictures of my injury. And I want them to be aware, right? This is important feedback and I don't want this happening to anyone else. So uh, I'll give them some time to respond. If they don't, then I'm going to, reach out to them by phone um, or send them a letter with with the copy of the email and the pictures and everything as, as well as this. And uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. And the funny thing is, I never thought about doubling up my safety redundancy on the platform. It, it just never occurred to me for some reason. I'm, I'm not sure why. Because when I use tree stands, I always put two ratchet straps, um, you know, any sort of equipment that I'm putting all my weight on, I usually double up. I just never thought to do the platform. It just kind of never occurred to me while I was doubling up everything else. So I think in the future, I mean, I'm going to continue using this platform. This platform is solid. This is a great platform. But I'm definitely not going to use one of those straps again. I might maybe do two, but I don't even know if I want to mess with them again. I'll probably just do a ratchet strap, maybe two ratchet straps, maybe a ratchet strap in one of those. I have to double up this too. It's just, it's no different than a tree stand, right? And it's not going to be extra weight to have that equipment. And safety is paramount, right? Safety is paramount. Now, I was just 
hunting in Wisconsin with this um, a week before this happened. And there was some spots where I was really deep on public land, no phone service or anything. And, you know, if something went wrong out there and I wasn't saved by my lineman's rope, then, you know, I could have been just injured out there laying in the middle of nowhere with the wolves and the bears and of Wisconsin. <laughs> anyway, I think the, the point of this video is to, you know, take your safety seriously. Do not trust your equipment. I said this before, I do not trust my equipment, right? I mean, you have to have redundancies in place. If your life's that important and you want to go home to meet your family, then, you know, double up on your, your safety, safety redundancy, always wear a harness. You should be doing that regardless, you know, having two tethers, two bridges, um, backups with your Prusik knots, your whatever devices you're using, the platform, right? Something I never even thought about failing. I'm going to start using two straps on that. I don't know if I'm going to use ratchet straps or what yet at this point, but I'm going to double that up for sure. All my body weight's going on that, at least um, when I'm first getting situated up there. So, um, like I said, I don't want anyone to see that. I don't want to see anyone uh, in the same situation and uh, stay safe out there. And um, that's all I got for now. So happy holidays to everyone. And I hope to have some more videos out soon. I've been hunting hard, man. I've been hunting hard after some big boys in Ohio. Um, I'm not done yet. Uh, still plenty of time left. We're in, moving in the late season now. Um, so I'll be hunting this weekend and uh, hopefully I get some footage out, some good videos and uh, we'll go from there. So, all right guys, happy holidays. And I'll see you again soon.